because having a routine for six years of your life is like to a point sometimes you get tired of it you know it's like repeat literally the same schedule every day every week so i, I wanted like something different i wanted to explore like what's it like being a, uni a university student um you know because a lot of the national athletes they actually don't really get to pursue the education because at that time i actually talked to my coach and i was like coach can i you know start studying and he was like no he said you either choose to do badminton full-time or you go and uh, you choose your studies full-time because he doesn't want me to like go to class come for training and be tired and not be able to give my best and stuff like that so he asked me to decide and then that's when I decided like, okay, then I, I will go and do my studies. Lah. My parents were actually very disappointed. They were like discouraging me from quitting because I already spent so much time, so much effort and I invest so much into it. And then now I just want to, you know, let it go. But then, so me and my parents had like, disagreements and we argued and I cried a lot of tears a lot of you know but at the end of it I decided like I still decided to pursue my education like studies and now if I look back I don't think I regret at all and if I still want to play now there's nothing that can there's nothing I, I have no excuses you know like um, in uni I I would say that I had so much more exposure in going into uni then if now if i think back if i continue playing how different would my life be but then i'm very happy with, with where i am now so i i feel like everything happened for a reason okay. me yes i like germany i like how they're very it's a very like work-life balance here you know they don't uh they work hard but at the same time they also make time to go and enjoy and like take time off work or they don't work until so late at night they work until maybe five o'clock and then they go do sports they go uh, hang out with friends whatever but i feel like in malaysia it's more like work 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 all the time so what i like about germany is that they, they have very good work-life balance and then um i like the weather here very not too hot right now it's um summertime but it's like 18 degrees 18 to 20 degrees so very nice weather mm, the people are nice some people are not most of the people are nice you know how like i feel like germans can be quite cold sometimes and especially if you don't speak german there's like a barrier between you know it's like but so far so good i guess for me and also because i coach kids right the german kids most uh some of them don't really speak english yet they, I think they only start learning English at uh, nine years old, I guess. So sometimes I have to coach eight-year-olds, seven-year-olds, and then they don't really speak English. So there's a bit of a language barrier. But other than that, all is good. Um, I coach at, I still coach at the OSC Munchen uh, Badminton Club. So I coach kids over there. And I also recently started my own badminton academy coaching adults and also kids but this is like yeah on the side my own personal academy mm -hmm. at the moment i'm focusing on my academy in munich trying to set up like a stable academy over there but maybe in the future when i come back to malaysia then yeah i also definitely will want to start my own academy once i finish i plan to um, work for at least one or two years in Munich to gain like a working experience there and then I want to go into the corporate world, go into the corporate line once I finish my studies. So my travel plans for this year is uh, maybe to make a trip to Australia for one month for just a short holiday after a very hectic and stressful semester. And then after that, I also plan to maybe go back home to KL to visit my family since I haven't seen them for so long. Really miss them a lot. 